Spring is right around the corner. Depends on where you live. Here on the east coast of the United States, it's not quite spring yet. Usually in previous years by now, nearing the middle of March, we usually get spring weather. But this year it's still winter, you know, it's still a little colder than it usually is, but it's going to warm up here soon in a couple of weeks. In my opinion, fragrances that are neither here nor there work perfect for this type of transitional time. Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video. And if you're new here, first of all, thank you for stopping by. My channel, I focus on beauty, mostly beauty, you know, makeup, fragrances, a lot of beauty content and fashion and lifestyle kind of sneak in here and there too. And if that's your thing, just make sure to subscribe that black button right down there click that and also don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok so remember this video is about transitional fragrances going from winter to spring i will be doing a niche spring fragrances video and a designer spring fragrances video my top 10 picks from designer and niche my spring fragrances, that's coming up, so stay tuned for that. In this video, I want to talk about what I'm wearing right now in this sort of transitional period going from winter into spring. In my opinion, transitional fragrances are those fragrances that don't fit into quite into a seasonal box. Like, you know, neither here nor there fragrances. You can sometimes wear them in winter, but it's not quite a winter fragrance. You know, they, it has certain notes and qualities that are more spring weather appropriate, maybe even summer, but then it has some other qualities that are kind of like winter appropriate, you know, like neither here nor there. So I always try to make things easier for you guys by sort of trying to simplify things as much as possible so that you can sort of wrap your head around it. Now, I have noticed certain type of fragrances, you know, for example, aldehydic fragrances. They make for really good transitional fragrances. Some of these fragrances actually work all year round as well. The aldehydes give you this sunny, bright, sunny vibe. But at the same time, there's a quality about aldehydes that really stand up to cold weather too. But also it has this quality that reminds you of sunshine, you know, and happy, sunny weather. Something about aldehydes, right? These are fragrances that are perfect for you to ease into the spring, more like spring into the spring, right? We ease into fall, but we spring into spring. But anyway, the first one I have in my hand is Maison Francis Jean 724. Now this is a very unique beauty. This is a very, very uniquely clean, fresh fragrance. It's not your average clean, fresh fragrance that you've known your entire life. No, 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 no. This one is absolutely stunning. This is a very unique clean fresh fragrance. First of all, this is a clean fresh fragrance that has an aldehydic opening. It's an aldehydic fragrance. There are aldehydes in the opening and this is not your grandmother's aldehydes. This is not, I'm not saying that Chanel number no. five in any way is a grandma type fragrance. No, it's a very vintage, very classic fragrance. And to this date, one of the top sellers around the world okay so keep that in mind but chanel you know that vintage aldehydes chanel number no. five put aldehydes on the map okay but anyway but that's not even that aldehyde it's not that vintage aldehyde that you smell in chanel no 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 this is a very contemporary crisp clean fresh 
aldehyde that gives you this sunny vibes right away when you smell it. But this is such a, see, I don't want to use the word strong either. I was going to say this is such a strong fragrance. No, this is such a prominent fragrance. You know, I don't know what else to use. It's a, it has presence, okay? It's a fragrance with presence that actually stand up to cold weather, you guys. You can wear this in cold weather. You can wear this in warm weather. It's one of those fragrances, actually. Right now, before even spring comes, and this would actually work in spring too, but right in the middle where, you know, you're moving from cold weather in the winter to spring, this one is perfect because this really works in crisp, cool weather too. Even though it has that sunshine, aldehyde vibes, this has some beautiful, lovely floral notes like muck orange, sweet pea, jasmine. That aldehyde mixed with the jasmine kind of produce almost like a, a clean jasmine incense scent. If you guys only know frankincense and you don't know any other type of incense, you will not understand what I'm saying. But in parts of like Asia, they have these like incense, different floral scented incense, like jasmine incense. You know, that, that has a little bit of that. Actually, my, my husband, when he first smelled this, said that too. So it's perfect for cool weather in this type of transitional times because all the heights kind of remind you of the upcoming sunny weather, you know, and then you have that beautiful musk and sandalwood in the base. So beautiful, crisp, clean fragrance that really will help you spring into spring. Okay. So here's another perfect one to spring from winter to spring. But this one is a rose oud fragrance, but it's not your typical rose oud fragrance. Guess what makes this appropriate for this transitional time? Those aldehydes, baby. So this is Raja Parfum Taif Oud. You guys, this fragrance is perfect to go from winter into spring in this transitional time. This would, in my opinion, be mostly a cold weather fragrance. And I would actually even say mostly nighttime wear, but you can wear daytime as well because of the aldehydes. Again, very much a strong, beautiful rose oud fragrance with that gorgeous sunny bright aldehydes in the opening which really changes this fragrance into something entirely different than your, your usual rose oud fragrance. And the rose in here is the most delicate of all, the most oriental of all. It's Taif rose. You guys, Taif rose comes from Saudi Arabia on the slopes of the Taif region, you know, on the mountain slopes. Beautiful rose. It's very delicate, very oriental. That oriental scent makes this so beautiful kind of like that you know the pinky rose that's perfect for spring but because of the oud in here which by the way is beautifully blended with the rose and aldehydes it's not your barnyard oud it's not your i don't know strong very oudy middle eastern oud either that blend is beautiful with the aldehydes again the aldehydes lend itself almost to like sunny weather whereas rose and oud combination tend to be more of winter cold weather right but because of the composition this is ideal right now for this transitional time moving away from the winter into spring this is a fragrance you can wear in spring as well by the way absolutely stunning this is one of the most stunning fragrances I have in my collection, I'm almost as crazy about this as I am about the Killian Rose Oud and you guys know how nuts I am about that when I rave about it. Beautiful fragrance, perfect for this sort of transitional time. Uh, check my description box for all the information on these fragrances including discount codes where we're still on the aldehyde train. I'm going to talk about the other two that I have here that are perfect transitional fragrances with aldehydes in it. And here's Killian Woman in Gold. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It opens with the most beautiful, like citruses, you know, bergamot, mandarin orange, and then that 
beautiful aldehyde that makes you think of sunny things you know in your mind in your brain it does something to your brain you know and then you have that huge bucket of vanilla in here that's ooh makes it sweet and beautiful just very feminine uh, this has that rose and geranium combination that is divine with the with the bucket of vanilla the big dose of vanilla in here you guys i mean it's really vanilla heavy because vanilla is in the middle and in the base big two doses and you get tonka bean so makes it very very vanilla -y. and then you have the hint of a kigala wood which has that little sort of that's very woody very woody sensual woody note with a little hint of kind of almost pepper and patchouli and yes this has some patchouli too but the patchouli is not even a little bit patchouli like you know it's not too earthy or, or dirty or anything like that absolutely beautiful fragrance this is perfect for this sort of transitional time because this is actually great for cold weather too it it's great for not too too cold like dead or winter cold not good which is why this is not a winter fragrance but also not quite a summer fragrance you know even spring like it's right in the you know in the transition in my opinion so it's great for going from away from that super cold weather into my a little bit warmer weather and the other aldehyde fragrance i have other types i promise you but i want to get these out of the way here's kriegler abracadabra this is another beautiful aldehydic fragrance that in my opinion is perfect for this type of transitional weather this is sort of similar to the the woman in gold in a kind of way not exactly but this also opens with that bergamot, the citruses with the aldehydes, the same type of opening, very bright, sunny, citrusy, fresh. And then you get that beautiful lily of the valley, hawthorn, all these beautiful florals. And then you get that very nice dose of vanilla and tonka bean and some musk. So yeah, this is a great one for this type of transitional time as well because it's not quite a summer fragrance, not quite a spring fragrance, also not a winter fragrance or a fall fragrance in my opinion. So it's perfect for this type of transitional time. I have another fragrance here, although it's not really an aldehydic fragrance, I almost get an like, aldehyde vibe from this, you guys. This is Amouage Gold Woman. This has a lot of beautiful floral notes like Lily of the Valley, Rose, Jasmine, Nate, what have you. But this also has incense. So it has a little bit of depth to this fragrance. And then there's Myrrh, which is a deep kind of like, again, complimenting incense, you know, very kind of incense balsamic note. And then you have notes like, you know, um, orris root, which is powdery. There's labdanum, which has a leather nuance. There is civet, which is a, an animal. It's a synthetic note now, but you know, it used to be from, you know, like an animal, but anyway, it's synthetic now, but it's like a, again, like a very kind of a note with depth, like an animalic note. And there's loads of amber musk you know woody notes like sandalwood ambergris i mean name it it's got a lot of like notes in there but to me this smells kind of deep but not too deep it, it's almost like if you were to put myrrh and incense and stuff with aldehydes right you know it's kind of like two opposites together like there over here there's that bright sunny aldehydes which is bright and sunny but not necessarily like a light note and then you get over here the the deep ones like the myrrh and the incense and the civet and all that stuff so it's kind of like a mashup of this so this fragrance for that reason is neither here nor there in my opinion and it's really great to sort of spring into spring with like moving away from the winter cold weather but still cold not quite spring that sort of fragrance i don't know am i making sense you guys let me know down in the comment section so next i want to get into all of these sort of like white floral type fragrances that are perfect for moving into spring they are stronger white florals for example i here got chinatown by bond number nine now this one can easily actually be a winter fragrance too because this is a strong fragrance this is a beautiful white floral fragrance with loads of white florals like tuberose which you can really smell gardenia orange blossom like there are a lot of white florals in here and some peony too 
but this one is spicy you guys this has got some teeth to it even though it's like a white floral fragrance it's got loads of vanilla like a sensual woody base with sandalwood and everything but this has got cardamom and some other warm spices which make it really interesting and kind of strong so it's like one of those fragrances where it's not really like a winter fragrance although you can wear it in winter by the way it's a strong fragrance but it's great to kind of like move into those beautiful white florals that actually work, you know, lighter white florals that work in spring, you know, kind of that type of fragrance, perfect for that transitional time. Speaking of another great creamy, almost slightly spicy with a little uh, kick right in the opening. Um, this one right here, Georgia Armani Rouge Malakite. This one, you guys, is a, like I said, a creamy, creamy white floral um it's not really a summertime white floral if you get what i mean it's a little bit more substantial than that it can you know withstand cold weather um but also not you know necessarily even though it can withstand cold weather not quite a winter fragrance either but also like not quite a light enough one for like summertime in a way although you can wear them this all year round you if you want but if you want to really be you know specific this one is really one that works in that transitional time going away from cold weather into slightly warmer weather now this one has loads of tuberose it's a tuberose dominant fragrance as you know this tuberose on all levels i believe and there's like a little bit of a kick in the opening i know there's some pink pepper in here and some like um I don't know herb or something but I feel almost like a little kick almost like a little hint of black pepper too and then this has with uh, tuberose there's like jasmine ylang ylang all these beautiful florals and then it has that resin vibe from the benzoin and then amber together yeah this is really a transitional fragrance to me I like to wear this in the spring as well but yeah it's more of a transitional fragrance and then i have this one raja danger parfum you guys this one is a super i don't like to say beast mode it's a stronger white floral this has loads of not just white floral other type of florals too it's very strong once i broke i had a bottle before this one I dropped it and I broke it my our bedroom smelled like raja danger for months so it gives you an idea how strong this fragrance is. It's definitely got a very citrusy opening with a load of different like mandarin orange, bergamot, yada yada, lots of citruses. Then it has a juicy peach note with ylang ylang, gardenia, even a little violet and uh, jasmine and rose and all these beautiful floral notes. But mostly what I smell are like those gardenia type white florals and then this one again has that sensual dry down with uh, with sandalwood but loads of vanilla too and then there's tonka bean making it even more vanilla -y. Uh, then you get a little bit of spice I think clove or something in here um, loads of musk patchouli so like I said it's a the point is that this fragrance is not a summer spring type of white floral it's stronger than that and it's not exactly a winter time fragrance either although you could wear it in the winter so it's that perfect fragrance that reminds you of white florals i know of, of the spring and summer but but it's stronger than that so it's perfect for this transitional time when it's not too too cold also not quite warm yet then i have this one here amouage portrayal woman this one is a very not spicy this is a very balsamic there's a note in here that almost smells like spice I'll get to that here in a minute it's a very balsamic you know resin kind of jasmine fragrance again it's not your summer spring jasmine this is stronger this can actually be worn in cold weather like winter you know uh, but it is because it's a jasmine fragrance it reminds you of spring and summer too but it's too strong for warm weather so it's right there perfect for springing into spring from winter this has got elemi in here which is a uh, balsamic you know resin note which has almost like a spicy hint to it like a kick to it if you will ah uh, it's beautiful 
and it has a very subtle hint of tobacco you guys it's quite the interesting fragrance with a with quite a bit of teeth for a jasmine fragrance but it's somehow really beautiful it's very strong balsamic jasmine which is i think perfect for transitioning from cold weather into you know spring here soon here's another kind of creamy gourmet that works in cold weather too but it's perfect for transitional time because it's not too like beast mode or strong like you know or or dense like winter fragrances but at the same time it's not quite warm hot weather type fragrance either you can wear this in spring but this is amouage love tuberose this is again a, a beautiful creamy tuberose fragrance it's got loads of tuberose, you know, the sandalwood and the, with the sensual dry down in the base and all that. But this has got a whipped cream note, you guys, which is what makes it very lactonic and creamy. But I smell a little subtle hint of spice in there. But yeah, perfect for going from winter into spring in this transitional time right now. And then I forgot to talk about you know this sort of spicy fruity fragrance here which is such an anom anomaly it's like neither here nor there if i could give you a perfect example for neither here nor there fragrance this is this is the one okay this is serge of dolce amalfi you guys this is a weird fragrance okay this opens with that weird kind of fruity note quince which doesn't really have a taste that much or even a scent that much but this is also you guys like yeah quince is kind of like almost like a juicy fresh but this has got spices in this fragrance it's got cloves and cardamom i think in here so it's it's a spicy fragrance it's a good hint of spice in here and also not to mention there's tolu balsam so it's balsamic too weirdly uh, not just queens by the way this has apple too so it's like a fruity fragrance it's like the weirdest thing ever it's got a little hint of incense too which you can barely smell it's not incensey at all it's very very well blended if it's there i mean you know when you hear that the note is there you realize yeah yeah i can smell it's there but it's very subtle but it's mostly like fruity and kind of sweet with that hint of spice with loads and loads of vanilla and amber in the base and woody notes it's like a weird fragrance it's like perfect it's not a summertime warm weather fragrance this is also not quite really a spring fragrance it's not a winter fragrance either um, this is actually good for going from summer to fall too actually for that transitional time but this is also fine for going from winter to spring as well it's that sort of neither here nor there type of in between fragrance so then i have a category i feel like musky fragrances like really strong musky fragrances are those anomaly fra type of fragrances too they're not really like you know warm weather fragrances yeah they withstand cold weather but they kind of remind you of spring with that almost freshness of the musk like musk gives this sort of you know like explosion if you know what i'm talking about so i have a, a, a four musky fragrances here that are perfect for going from winter to spring this one right here by m Mikolaf, glamour you guys this is one of the most beautiful ooh, bewitching feminine fragrances ever i'm not a big fan of mugler alien it's yeah it's bewitching but it's like there's something about it that I just quite don't like. It's not me. Whereas this here sort of has that sort of dirty jasmine kind of DNA that Alien has with loads of musk in here that it's different. There's something edgier, sexier about this one if you ask me. Now, you know, way more than um, Mogla Alien. This is really sexy. My husband loves this fragrance on me. It's got some fruitiness too, like this peach and I think some sort of fruity notes in here. But there's a little hint, subtle hint of like spice in here too, which is what gives it that sort of really like, I don't know, like that kick that Alien has too. This has got plum with that juiciness with the jasmine, but the jasmine is almost kind of like a naughty, dirty jasmine. This bit of rose. 
This has got some, you know, musk, noticeable amount of musk in here. Sensual cedarwood, some vanilla. Beautiful, feminine, sexy fragrance. Perfect for springing into spring from winter. Then I have two musk fragrances from Narciso Rodriguez. This one is Narciso by Narciso. This one is Narciso Poudre. So they are both very like blast of musk type fragrances. I know this one has like gardenia or is it magnolia something like a big white floral right in the opening with a blast of musk yeah i'm pretty sure it's gardenia and i think there's rose too and then there's huge amount of musk blast of musk and some woody notes it's a very like a musky sexy fragrance very edgy um this can be a winter fragrance it's a good winter fragrance too but it's not like too much for like too cold weather either. Also not quite a spring fragrance per se. It fits right in the transition time if you ask me. Same with Poudre. This one is also very similar in the note structure or the composition. It's got beautiful jasmine, rose, orange blossom type fragrance notes, a blast of musk. There's a powderiness about this. Although that one is a little powdery kind of too. There's tonka beans, some woody notes, some vetiver. You know, again, and some patchouli but very hard to notice. Um, in fact, the earthy nuts from patchouli really complements this fragrance. Again, that not really like a super cold winter fragrance. It's not really a summer, warm weather fragrance. Not even quite spring, like right in that transitional time. And then I have this beauty, the Mont Blanc Sign Signature Scent. Now this one, mm, this one has the most delicious tangerine note in the opening, you guys, that I love. But with that, those beautiful florals in here, like magnolia, ylang ylang, uh, peony, is it? Something beautiful like that. Loads of uh, vanilla and I think benzoin too, but then there's a lot of like a blast of musk in here. There again, this is not really a super cold weather fragrance. It's not really all that warm weather type of fragrance. It's almost like a spring fragrance, but not quite. So it's like perfect for this time right now, transitioning from, you know, it's not super cold right now, but it's spring, not quite spring quite yet either. Perfect. perfect. Anyway, and then I have some kind of powdery fragrances that I think work really well in this transition time. This one is Amouaj Lilac Love. You guys know the drill about this. This is a very powdery, cocoa powder, lilac-y fragrance. This has got some beautiful blue-purple florals like lilac, I think iris too, like some beautiful powdery florals mixed with that cacao powder. Ooh, so good. Mm, this is to me... You know, it's not really a winter fragrance because it's not too gourmet, it's not too dense, it's not too beast mode or anything, but at the same time, it's not spring per se. Yes, you can wear this in spring, but with that chocolate note, with the cacao powder, I think going from winter to spring, this is really nice. This fragrance right here, I just hauled, um, this was in my hot new releases video, and in my haul video, this is the latest flanker to My Way fragrance line from Giorgio Armani. This is My Way Parfum. This one is, is that beautiful, um, you know, like the DNA of the original is here with that, you know, beautiful tuber rose with the bubblegummy scent. There's orange blossom and all that with the citruses and stuff. This one has an iris note. It's actually iris paleta. This it gives it almost like a lipstick smell to this kind of powdery um, kind of makeup smell you know what I mean this is like perfect for this kind of transitional time going from winter because this can be a winter fragrance because it's stronger it's a parfum to me because of that lipstick sort of powdery iris kind of thing in here with that stronger deep depth you know with the amberette and all that I feel like this is perfect um, This ha uh, for this type of transitional time. This actually has uh, some musk too. It's a very beautiful powdery kind of uh, makeup smelling, deeper version, way deeper version of the original. 
which I think is perfect for this transitional time going into spring, but you can wear this in spring as well. And then of course the floral fragrances that I love uh, with a little bit of a kick, right, for this type of transitional time is perfect. Um, of course my Ibiscus Majad by Maison Crivelli, you guys know how I feel about this fragrance, I rave about it day and night, you know, like on YouTube. This is that beautiful rose fragrance, but it's, you know, made to smell like a hibiscus. If hibiscus had a scent, you know, the flower hibiscus. This has got rose and spearmint mixed, and then there's leather in this fragrance. This is absolutely gorgeous, and to make it go over the top, there's a big bucket of vanilla in here that makes it sweet and beautiful with that rose. Whenever there's rose and vanilla, it's just mwah, absolutely stunning. This fragrance is a huge, massive compliment getter. I was just wearing it the other day to an appointment and this woman was like, oh my gosh, she came to the, the waiting room to call my name. When I came inside to the, uh, you know, to the room and she was like, oh my gosh, it's that, that's you. I walked into the waiting room and I could smell you. I was like, whoever smells like that is absolutely divine. And then I realized it's you because <laughs> you were just filling the entire room with the fragrance. And she asked me what the name of this was and where to get it and everything because she was in love. This projects like crazy, like far, far projection very strong projection it is a it's not beast mode though it's not in your face it's not offensive it's very beautiful smooth that's what she was saying to that lady you can smell it but it's not offensive it doesn't punch you in the face this is absolutely stunning you guys this is a gorgeous fragrance it's actually cold weather appropriate this is something you can wear all year round actually I again even though it projects it's not offensive it's got this summer kind of vibe with that you know, fantasy note, hibiscus that they're trying to create in here with that rose and spearmint. You get what I mean? So it's like strong, but it reminds you kind of of warm weather, summer and all that. So it's like perfect for this transitional time right here, but it is also a fragrance you can wear all year round. And then you then have this one here and the Louisa. This is from Joyu Unique Sensorial Fragrance House. This one is a beautiful, juicy, floral fragrance with fruitiness but also very lactonic and vanilla -y, like absolutely stunning with a little hint of leather in there with the labdanum or the sister's flower in here but anyway this has a juicy pomegranate in the opening you guys very fruity but then this has tonka lactonic so it's kind of like tonka diluted in in milk you know like that milky vanilla scent that's in here with the sister's flower, which is kind of like labdanum, gives it a slight leather kind of like sexiness to it. There's loads of other fragrance notes, but this smells absolutely gorgeous. So it's like fruity, but not summer, spring type of fruity because there's that tonka lactonic. You know, this has got that lactonic, that almost gourmet vibe. So it's almost kind of like you can wear it in the colder weather too, but it's right in that transitional time this fits you know like this stands up to cold weather but also you can wear it in springtime it's absolutely beautiful this fragrance it's very sexy and then lastly i have here rolling in love by killian this one you guys again is is a kind of almost comforting fragrance with that you know almond with the milk like the lactonic milk in here with the almond and the beautiful florals like I think jasmine in here. It's not really a you know, warm weather fragrance per se because of that kind of almost comforting coziness with the almond and the milk but not quite warm weather either. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a, a very kind of lactonic, almost like almond milk. This is, I think that's what it has in here, almond milk and with like jasmine type of florals. There's something comforting about it, cozy about it, but also not really a winter fragrance, but also not like a summer fragrance per se. Like it's one of those transitional type of fragrances, perfect for this type of transitional time. So that's it you guys, those are 20 transitional fragrances to spring into spring from winter. I don't know about you guys, I am so done with winter, so done. I can't wait for spring to come here. And like I said, I have my spring lineup, a very exciting, almost all new fragrances this spring that I'm so dying to wear, you guys. I cannot wait 
to share my new spring lineup with you. I'm gonna be doing a spring niche fragrances video first and then I'll be doing a spring designer fragrances video. So stay tuned for them. I have really a lot of new fragrances that I'm wearing. Um, some of them you haven't even seen yet. I haven't even talked about on my channel yet. I need to do another haul video. But anyway, stay tuned for all that good content. And I have another beauty video coming up this Tuesday. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a very much a exciting video about beauty stuff. So stay tuned for that as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, that black button right down there. It's like somewhere over here. Click that, it used to be red, now it's black. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post everything really short and fun. I'll see you guys in my next video.